because I love soccer. It's about time we got here in Columbus, and it's going to be here to stay. We're in a new stadium. we we'll be here forever. Yeah, this is crazy here. Are you watching this? Last night's come-from-behind crew victory stands as an explanation point on an overnight success story that continues to be written. Trying to find McBride. He unboxes Sawatsky. McBride scores! So far, the crew has cleared every hurdle naysayers have placed in their way, and they're delivering an exciting product before capacity crowds. The crew was born after Major League Soccer announced that Columbus would be home to one of the ten inaugural teams. Even before a team name was picked, Columbus had already purchased over 11,000 tickets. From that point on, Columbus has completely embraced its first shot at a major league team. I've always been a big believer in Columbus. I've always been a big believer in major league sports here. MLS Commissioner Doug Logan was in Columbus to witness the fan phenomenon firsthand. This is a great market with great population, with great sports fans. So no one had to sell me on it, and it's, it's the huge home run that I expected it to be. The key reason for the crew's success has been their ticket sales. The crew leads the league in season tickets sold, but what's most impressive is how Columbus has outperformed much larger cities. The true success indicator has been from the fans. You're unbelievable. Go crew! Hi! You're so unbelievable. Go crew! Okay. You're the crew. You're unbelievable. Well, we like to tailgate. We like to not cheer for the crew. We like to see them score. What else, Pete? During the, during the game, we like to cheer and shout with the other crowd. That's it. <laughs> this is it, baby. And New York. Make sure they show us in New York City. Number one crew. Number one. All the way. You got it. I think crew's going to kick butt. Well, I'm telling you, I admit it, I am completely hooked on Major League Soccer, and if you were anywhere near Ohio Stadium last night when the crew put an end to the New England Revolution, I'm sure you are hooked as well. But I had to ask Coach Tom Fitzgerald if he attributes the team's five-game win streak to their brand-new structure underwear. Absolutely. The structure underwear is what's made the difference. <laughs> For the fourth time this season, a member of the Columbus crew has been named Major League Soccer's Player of the Week. This time, the honors go to midfielder Adrian Paz.
a huge success. Well received. We rank right uh, near the top on attendance, uh, even during some of the tougher times. The fans have responded well. It helps bring an international language to Columbus, which is part of what we want. The players, the, the quality of the management organization, uh, the coaches all have been well received and they've given a lot to Columbus. So if I had to grade it out, I graded an A+. Plus. A new look unveiled today for the proposed downtown arena and soccer stadium. City leaders unveiled new plans for what they call the Sports and Entertainment District on the site of the former Ohio State Penitentiary. A $280 million project including a stadium, an arena, and two parking garages. Big news for the Columbus Crew soccer team. Right now the crew, they're practicing over at Ohio State, but that will change. In 1997, the crew announced today that they will be building a state for the art practice facility in Obet, the plan calls for a 5,000 square foot facility that will house two practice fields and the team headquarters. As it really will be a premier training facility in the United States. It's as good as any as you'll see across the world, really. I think the crew is here to stay. 31,000 in a change today. A great crowd, great atmosphere, great soccer fest here in Columbus. Come on.